Hey everybody, so I wanted to make a video to show off some of the modifications I've made to the Art Asylum 2003 um, USS Enterprise, the NCC-1701A version. This is the first ever of these models that were released on the Diamond Select Art Asylum line and uh, a lot of people think that this particular model is one of the best made ones in terms of the quality of the plastic and and uh, and the build and and so on and so forth. But um, the biggest issue that I've always heard people have with this is that it was pretty featureless when it was first made. It was um, you know there were, there was really just sort of the plastic and a and a very basic paint job, and there wasn't much else to it. So um, I bought uh, about a year ago this set of um, micro pens. Um, so there's a bunch of different size blacks in here and then there's a variety of different colors. And I use these to add details to the paint scheme on the hull of the ship. So um, I'm actually pretty proud of the way it came out. I'm not a model builder or uh, anything like that. I mean even close, right? So this this is something that it, it did take some time. This took me a week or so um, and a lot of patience. But I think it came out great. I'm really happy with the way it looks. Um, I think, it, again, it's kind of combining the, the fact that this particular um, build of this, of this Art Asylum uh, model, which was later taken over by Diamond Select, the quality of the build with the, the fact that it wasn't very detailed and then adding the details to it makes it a piece that I'm really proud to have in my collection. So I wanted to go over some of the things that I did with it. Um, first thing that you'll notice is I colored in every one of the uh, the windows on the hull um, with with a black one of the black micron pens. So take a look at this. You can see um, all over the hull, uh, each of the windows, whether it's a round window or one of its the it's one of the uniquely shaped windows along the edge of the saucer. Um, on the other edge, on the rear edge of the saucer, there's the the square windows where the um, where the recreation facility is. I colored in. Um, and so that was that was the first thing that I did with this. The second thing that I did was I, I wanted to add just some surface details to the saucer. So it, I'm not sure whether it's really easy to pick up on camera here or not, but you can see here um, the tiny little almost hatches, whether these were lifeboat hatches or I think in uh, Star Trek The Motion Picture they emerged from one of these to to go on the wing walk scene. Um, I, I just I just etched those all in in, a, in sort of a gray silver pen um, and that's all around the hull there you can see uh, inclusive of these these hatches on the back here these larger ones and that just added just a little bit of pop to the top of the primary hull. Um, the other thing I did was I, I used that same color and I just colored in a little bit of the details around the bridge dome. So you can see here, there's just a couple of small flecks of color that I added. You try to get the glare out of there, but um, a couple of small flecks of color that I added there. Um, I also colored in right here on the, on the bridge dome there, there the, those, uh, that, those impressions I colored in. And I did some work on the impulse area as well. So. You can see that I just added a little bit of detailing and color um, to, to some of the raised areas on the impulse deck. And I also used a blue micron pen to accentuate the deflector crystal a little bit more, um, which I think came out pretty good. I colored in the running lights. Um, so the, the, the starboard side running light is green, port side is red, and then there's a couple running lights back here that I, I did as yellow. And I did the, the front running light yellow as well. Tough to see, um, I think, but you can see, you can see that a little bit. You can also see how cool the the Aztecing in it is on this. The camera is kind of picking that up nice. Um, gives it that good um, look. I mean, certainly not as nice as the paint job in the movie, but it gives it some texture. Um, I didn't do that. That was molded into the plastic, but pretty good stuff there. Um, the other thing that I did was, um, in terms of the bridge module, I, I didn't like the way this came out as much, but get in here on that, you can see that I gave a little bit of detail to the, um, the bridge level hatch there. 
Um, again, it's kind of hard to see. There's a line down the middle of the uh, of the docking port where it would separate that I added, and I just did a little bit of detailing in there. I also added a little bit of detailing to the rear of the um, impulse engine assembly. You can see sort of that black um, right in here. If I can, right right in that area right there, I added a little bit of detailing. So that was the top of the primary hull. Um, I, oh, I also. Uh, added just some really, really minor detail to the phaser uh, emitters. Um, I outlined them in red, because if you get a good look at the studio model, they actually are outlined in red on the studio model. And um, I added just a little bit of color to the emitters themselves. That's not going to pick up really well on the camera here, but I used like a gray or a black to just sort of make the, the, two, little, um, the two little emitters there pop a little bit more. So that's what I did with the top of the primary hull. The only other uh, things that are of note that I thought came out really good were the the um, the um, thruster assemblies that are you know one two three four around the hull. Um, I colored those in with with a brown, and those came out really good because they're not colored at all on the original model of this, and they have you know it makes it pop really nice. If I pick this up, you can kind of see how those look. Um, a little bit more screen accurate. So pretty cool stuff there. Um, on the secondary hull, I'll just pick this up a little bit. Uh, let's go to the bottom of the primary hull next. Um, oh, awesome. All right. There we go. On the bottom of the... Uh, it makes noises too, clearly. On the bottom of the, of the primary hull, I, I did etch out some of the hatches that were on the bottom. I colored in. Um, a couple of those as they go around there, you can see. Um, and I did the same thing with the phaser emitters. I also gave some pop to the um, the sensor dome on the bottom. You can see some of those triangular um, things in there. I just colored those in with like a gray silver type pen, almost kind of the same one that I used to color those hatches in with. And it just gives the sensor dome a little bit of a pop as well. So you can see those little triangular things that are sort of around the assembly there now have some pop. So that's everything that I did with the with the primary hull. Again, you can kind of see the, the reaction thrusters, the browns on the bottom there. Oh, there's the thing. Um, in the secondary hull, again, I added some detail to the all, the, all of the windows. Um, it doesn't come out really great here, but I did add some green to the to the blue painted windows uh, for the, where the arboretum goes, I also put some red detailing around the docking ports. Um, not great. I wasn't thrilled with that, but it is what it is. Um, and I added little uh, little little sort of brown beige details right there, right on the deflector dish assembly. You can see there's a tiny little one right there. There's another tiny one right there, and then there's two on the other side to make it a little bit more screen accurate. Um, so I'm going to put this down, talk about a couple other things that I did. Um, I also added some black to this area right here. This was kind of a just the same pale blue that these other pieces are, but to be screen accurate, I kind of colored in some of those there. It's not this, as sharp as I'd like it. And I added blacks to the interior of the pylons here. Um, so if you look here, you can see those are colored in. So I added that black. Uh, on the back, where the um, hanger is, I'm hoping we can see that, but I added some, you know, it's a little blurry. Let's see if I can pull back a little bit. I added some reds. So those reds there, uh, right above where the bay doors open up, uh, are, are screen accurate, both underneath there and on the top, there were red lights. Uh, some people say it's like a control room. I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the show that, that indicates that. But that, that was pretty good, pretty detailed. And also, if you can see to the left and the right of the bay doors, I added a little bit of blue, which you can kind of see in Star Trek The Motion Picture. There's just fine little blue details in there. Pull back a little bit. Um, those were really tough to do because the, the spots in there to, that, were, that are... Um, you know, sort of molded with the plastic. Um, 
are very fine. So you got to get in there with your, your blue marker and kind of do those in. I don't think I can get in close enough. Um, and then the other thing that I, I really um, I really loved about the way that this came out. Let's see if I can adjust this here. Um, around the edges of the deflector dish, that's all blue in there now. You can see kind of inside there, all around the edges. I got in there with a blue marker and I painted that in, colored that in with a marker. So and you can barely perceive it here, but the torpedo emitters, I also put some red in. That was molded black, so that was kind of a harder one to, to make look great, but you can see it's a little bit of a different color there if you look at it carefully. Um, I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool, but it, did, it didn't work as great as I thought. Um, I love the blue around, the, the blue in those little notches all the way around the, the, um, the deflector dish there. I thought that came out really nice, and I was very happy with that. I also added some yellow. Um, there's lights here in the, in the film. Um, on the nacelles, there's yellow there, yellow there, and then I added these blue on the tops here, which comes in some of the Wrath of Khan models of this ship, but wasn't on this, so I colored those in with a blue pen. See those little lights right there that kind of light up when the ship goes into warp in the movie. So that's basically it. Uh, like I said, it took me probably about a week to do that, and um, you know, I think that it took what was a great model in terms of the build uh, and the quality of the plastic and all of that, and what what, what was otherwise kind of disappointing because it, it, it was featureless, <laughs> um, and then and then just added some great little features to it that really make the hull pop and and make it feel like uh, you know more of a model than a toy. So um, so this was this was a lot of fun to do this. I actually kind of missed doing it um, when it was done and. Uh, and I, I took a, I bought a couple other ships after that, and they didn't require nearly as much um, redetailing and stuff. But any time that I saw something where I thought, oh, cool, you know, I could I could make that up a little bit, and make that look different or make that look a little bit more pop, then I would do it. But nothing quite compared to the work that I had to do on this one. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, I, I love the way that it came out, um, and it didn't take a whole lot of time if you get a, a good set of pens, right? And you just sort of, uh, you have some patience and a steady hand and you have the areas that you want to attack on, on uh, this particular model. Uh, it can come out looking really nice and I'm really proud of it. So hope you enjoyed this. Maybe it gave you some ideas uh, in terms of how you might want to um, go about, you know, taking this particular model piece and, and uh, turning it into something that's a little bit more displayable. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.